hopefully today was the start of something really big for our Denver Broncos because they got back to training camp. Well, in just 16 days, they're going to play their first preseason game. The regular season is just six and a half weeks away. So our Broncos insider was out there today. Mike, there's a lot to talk about. We heard from the owner, the new head coach, some of the players. So where do you want to start? You pick. Yeah, let's start with Javante Williams taking the first uh, pitch on the first play, 11 on 11. It, uh, there was no, no pads today, no tackling, no contact. It was about 75% speed, but still... Uh, Javante Williams lined up for the first rep and he took the pitch and looked pretty quick getting out there to the right edge. So I think that was big. Marvin Mims, the second round rookie, he had a uh, hamstring issue and missed the last couple weeks of the offseason, OTAs in the mini camp. And then he did something in a workout recently and he hurt the other hamstring. So he might be out four or five days a week. So uh, kind of a slow start for the second round rookie. Hopefully it's not like Greg Dulcich went through last year, his rookie year for the Broncos, where he missed five to five, seven games all told, I think, because of, of a hammy. It's tough for these rookies sometimes to know how to stay healthy with their legs. We talk about Sean Payton this year, but it's also a lot about Russell Wilson. And at least uh, several of the players today were voicing their support for the quarterback as after a tough year one in Denver, he seems to be ready for year two. Yeah, I think so. I, I think what happened is, uh, you know, there was all that talk about him having his own office upstairs last year. He had his own coaches, and it seemed like he was kind of separated from the rest of the team. It was almighty Russell Wilson with his own coaches, with his own office, and the rest of the team. And you really can't have that in football. The quarterback has to be one of the guys. Um, they kind of made changes with that. The office was no more. The coaches being inside the building was no more at the end of last year. Jerry Rosberg actually made the first move there, and that's continued under Sean Payton. And I do think all the teammates are buying into Russell Wilson. He got himself in great shape. He took a lot of the teammates with him out to Boulder uh, last week, as you saw on social media. And uh, I do think it's going to be a better year for Russell Wilson this year for many reasons. And uh, one of them is I think his teammates are buying into him. That's good to hear. How about the owners? This is their sophomore season, if you will. Uh, what's changed? Anything for them? Yes, yeah, their second year, they, they had kind of a rough baptism, if you will. They learned a lot. Um, you know, they put in the $4.65 billion right away. Uh, whether they wanted to or not, they kind of took the advice of football uh, personnel and gave Russell that contract extension. Uh, that didn't look good right away, but um, they're going to find out. They, they put more money than any other team into free agency this year. The Broncos did. Uh, they paid big money for Sean Payton. So they've done all their part. They're, they're you know, put $100 million into the stadium renov renovations. Uh, they're looking into enhancing or building a new facility out here at Dove Valley uh, in the coming years. So they're really putting the money into it, and that's what owners uh, can do is just put every available resource. Now you have to pick the, uh, the right general manager and the, and the right coach. Greg Penner is, uh, uh, believes he has um, right now, and we'll see. Now it's up to the players to get out there and, and start winning. Greg Penner says expectations are in year two, he wants the fans to be proud of the on-field product. And of course, that wasn't the case last year. But Greg Penner now has this situation where he's done everything he can in the offseason. Now it falls to Sean Payton mm -hmm. to get the coaches on the same page, the players on the same page, the right 53 guys. There's no doubt that this is his camp. It's his time now, too. It is. I, you know, I don't think it necessarily, you know, you should expect him to lead this team to a Super Bowl in year one. You make progress. I think he will steadily make changes. Uh, with his roster. He'll kind of weed out those that he likes, uh, those that he doesn't like, those that don't kind of uh, fit his program. Um, but I think in, in a couple years, it's reasonable to expect the Broncos to be Super Bowl contenders again. As you might remember, every year, Pat Boland said he expected the Super Bowl. And uh, it's been a few years since that's happened. They've had losing records six years in a row. I do think it's realistic for the, for the Broncos to have a winning record this year, even win 10 games and make the playoffs this year. 
I think Sean Payton will make that big a difference with Russell Wilson and the rest of the team. But it's still not a perfect team. In total, this was a 5-12 and 12 squad last year, so they got a lot of work to do. Yeah, it's great, though, on day one of training camp to have high expectations. <laughs> Broncos fans a little yeah. wary. I mean, they were there last year as well. We shall see, and we certainly will get the chance to talk to you more about it coming up at 5 o'clock. Thanks, Mike. Of course, the